Dirty, dirty cheaters. Joining us right now, the owner, the head honcho, the guy who calls the shots, the guy who makes all the decisions, and who I might just say does not get enough, you know, the players and the coaches, and the, they all get credit. That's fine. And they should. But who's who's running the show? Uh, who's writing the checks? It's our next uh, next guy, Kevin Nagel. Kevin is David's Jason. Good morning from Orlando. How are you? Hey, good morning, fellas. How are you? Good. Nice. How are you? We're just about right. You know, it's uh, it's it's right before game game match time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you? you know, uh, it's, uh, we got a little bit of we got a little bit of lightning in the air. We've got oh. you know, it's a little bit humid. Yeah. Um, we've we're just coming off of playing four days ago. Yeah. Uh, we played on the road, as you know. Yeah. And the other guys have a, have had a week off. But right. we're against all odds, but we're good. Okay. Are we're you, in a good spot. Yeah. Do you have jitters then? You personally? Are you nervous, anxious? What's your what's your feel? I don't really operate that way. You know, I'm just I'm I'm re- look, I want to make history for Sacramento. I I want I want to bring the fans yeah, the fans and our community back a trophy more than anything else. It's really it's really about that. It's 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 not really about me. What about the three hundred grand? <laughs> I want that. I mean, that's interest on something just for it's, it's less about that you don't get that david do you yes oh it goes to you i get it oh well then i'm rooting for that because i've quit smoking okay <laughs> I, get know, the- I, I was gonna ask you know i, I was gonna, i was gonna ask you about that you know how's the smoke-free environment at the at, at the carmichael dave house i really kind of wonder about that let me see here i am uh 14 days two hours and 31 minutes in uh i have saved 282 dollars and 11 cents hey. i'm a i'm a I'm 11 months and two weeks away from winning my bets, Kevin. You know, I, I'll say this much. I, I'm not sure what brand you smoke, Dave, but I'm sure that they're feeling the effects of it. You just might put that company out of business. <laughs> yeah, I would sell all your Philip Morris stock. Kevin. Yeah, so, I mean, can you, ima- can you imagine that? I mean, I, 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 I'm concerned about that. The economy is not going great right now. Yeah. Somebody else, just Dave alone. Only Kevin would be the one worried about it. He's worried about the finance, <laughs> the balance sheet of Philip Morris and his buddy quit smoking. Well, you know, we talked to Melissa about that. She's all for it. She says I smell better. And nothing smells like victory, or at least as good as victory, mm-hmm. which is what we're hoping the uh, Republic pull back tonight. Now, Kevin, are you uh, – are you doing this uh, from your room right now? I am indeed. Do yes. Me, do me a favor. Are you near a window? I am. Okay. Can you look? Is there anyone peering in your window right now with <laughs> binoculars and an Orlando jersey? I'm just asking. <laughs> hey, well, let me just say this much. I'll uh-huh. get where you're going from. Uh-huh. You know, what's that old saying? Yeah. Uh, just because you're paranoid still doesn't mean somebody's not out to get you. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> starting to feel that way <laughs> that, go ahead Jason. No, i was gonna say i mean we've had fun with it but it's also i mean it's these are serious allegations like what what i don't even know what you could say about it kevin but what can even be done i mean the match is tonight i, I don't know what your guys opinion is on on at least what's out there with orlando i'm not really even thinking about that candidly i haven't talked to mark or 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 i've just talked a little bit of todd about it we're, we're thinking about the game we're thinking about what we need to do to win I mean, we, there are potentially we do have some really, you know, uh, significant develop or um, elements we have to deal with. Sure. You know, obviously with you know warm weather, you know, humid weather, rainy weather. Those are things I'm really worried about. I think the guys are going to figure it out. I, you know, somebody said something was called Orlando Gate. You know, is in the, in the <laughs> making. I have no idea. I honestly haven't thought about it yet. Mm. Yeah, have you heard anybody say that instead of the Magic Kingdom, the Cheating Kingdom? See, that's the thing. Like. <laughs> you're going to focus on the match, which is where we need your head. Players, coaches, GMs, they're going to focus on the match. That's where we need their head. Jason, that's why it's you, it's me, it's yeah. everybody on Twitter back here. Now, listen, we're going to we'll figure it out. Beat their well, rear, do, you think, huh? do you think the Vegas odds have changed as a result of that? I'm looking. Okay. It's still – it's still a, a, Orlando's still favored by a goal. I was looking at it this morning. You know, and it's an MLS team. Picking on a little tiny USL team, they need to, you know, they, they need to get GPS coordinates to seek out where they're practicing. So, and it's like, here, let me help you out, Orlando. They're gonna try to kick the ball in the goal. There's your, there's your big news. So you're you're gonna be classy about this, Kevin, and that's how you should be. We're just gonna call them cheaters, and when we beat their asses tonight, it's gonna be that much more fun bringing that trophy back from an MLS team that also happens to be dirty, stinking cheaters. Not that I'm going over the top, but <laughs> listen. Look, I would say this much. I think that really, 
in terms of entering and getting into MLS, really Orlando's the gold standard. They were a USL team. We were a, a, we're a USL team. They won a championship. We won a championship. It, you know, you can say everything perfect about those guys except for just one thing, and sure. I'm not saying it. Nope, I hear you. Out of the Republic, Kevin Nagel joining us <laughs> right now. Uh, Kevin, uh, the the one other question I want to ask before we get back to the game uh, match, because I, I know everyone's asking this, and we've had these conversations off the air. I want to share them on the air. Do you even think about MLS right now? Obviously, this is more exposure. Uh, obviously, this is more interest. But it, do you, is is there a direct corollary that you see uh, between success in the U.S. Open Cup and finally getting to the uh, the end of the tail and a good happy ending with MLS? No, I think you know I don't really think about it, Dave. Mm -hmm. um, I, I will say this much: Do we have a number of people who are interested in investing in the team and figuring out a pathway to get there as an option? Um, it might be an option. It's an option not to as well. I mean, we have to consider it all. I think we're just in a very solid place right now. I'm really thinking about, you know, really, as I said earlier, making history. And I think also bringing a, a, a big trophy back to Sacramento on a, because it's national. It's not, this is not something that, you know, we're just playing another team for a championship. Sure. It's 103 teams that played in this tournament and we're now down to the final two. It just so happens, as you know, that the last several championships have been won by MLS teams that have played an MLS team and not we're, we're a USL team playing an MLS team. So I'm really excited about that. You know, I really relate a lot to underdogs. It's a lot where I came from and I, you know, and this, you know, I'm, I'm going to do everything we can to try to make it happen. This is one for quote, the little guys and gals. Kevin, as Kevin Nagel joining us, Kevin, one of the things you, you just referenced, I think the, the great point that needs to be remembered and addressed 103 teams start this you're yeah. down to two. It's historic what you guys have already done. And, Obviously, when it starts, you dream of this scenario, but and ideally at the end of the night, the championship is there. But so much of it is about the ride, the journey. When this is all said and done, what's your what's your best memory of of kind of going through this historic run? I think it really is. I mean, it, it's a great question. I think it's it, it would take a little bit more time to think about it, but I would say at least you know right on the surface. I think it's really beating a lot of the MLS teams and you know doing it consistently week and. You know, you, you heard all sorts of excuses. You know, at, at some moment, people would say, well, that team, they weren't playing their starters. Well, that team only played half their starters. Well, that team had these, these players out. Uh, you know, I submit to you, you know, as I said earlier, you had, you had the team we're playing today, a great team, by the way. Uh, they, 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 they rescheduled their game, you know, on Sunday. Um, they're playing in their, they're playing in, in their hometown, you know, it's, it's going to be their mostly their fans, uh, most of their fans. Um, we're playing on the road. We're playing, you know, we've got, we've got some bang ups, not too bad, but we're, we're, we're playing really against a lot of the odds. Plus we're a lower division team. So it's to me, that's what I really remember. And it's really Sacramento proud, Sa Sacramento strong. You know, we have to punch our weight a little bit higher to be recognized. We're there for that. Kevin, when you first bought this team, when you were watching uh, at Hughes Stadium, do you, uh, do you have any idea you'd fall in love with the sport as much as you have? You have? No, I didn't really. You know, candidly, I, I've, I've, as I've told a few other people, I, I coached my daughter's so soccer team. I didn't really know what I was doing. I think I... I I think I cheated on the class that I had to take to get past this. <laughs> That's just Kevin in general. Um, but, and I, and I, and I, and I enjoyed it, you know, and it, it was just a lot of fun, but because I was in a team sport and I played a lot of other sports, I just didn't think a lot about soccer. It's a, it truly, you can see why it's considered and called a beautiful game. Um, you, it, it's like a wine, you know, it, it's vintage and get, it gets better over time. Mm. And I feel that's, I feel with respect to soccer, because I grew up on, you know, wanting to be a baseball, professional baseball player and, you know, loved football and, you know, was a, was a competitive, you know, wrestler for a lot of years, you know, in the, through high school. But I really, it's, it's, it's a, it's a phenomenal sport and it's really fun to watch. I'll tell you what I really like is you can go to virtually any, any country in the world and you can watch really great soccer mm -hmm. play. 
we can't say that about our sports. We have fantastic American football. Look, you know, basketball is better. Lovely to watch basketball and baseball, but they're not really international sports. And how about for you knowing that there's going to be a really large viewing party back here? I mean, Sacramento can't, not everybody can get there. There are people that have gone there, but it feels like Sacramento will be there viewing this tonight and listening and watching and just knowing that you have the support of the city behind you has got to mean a lot. It does. And I'll say this much. Um, I'm, I'm excited, delighted, and thank you for, you know, whomever decided to make the change, you know, from, you know, the Cesar Chavez venue over to, you know, the, uh, Safe Credit Union uh, Convention Center. I think that's fantastic. There's some other venues going around. Uh, there's in my hometown, you know, in Eldorado Hills. We're going to have a very, I think, a very loud, large group of people there. And I and I and I believe that Rebecca Lowe, mm. um, you know, who really is the voice of the EPL, um, and then also Paul Buckle, our former coach. They're going to be sort of um, anchoring that. Is there. that a town center? It is at Eldorado Hills. Town you ever center. been? You ever been there? <laughs> <laughs> and and I think they're going to have several thousand people there as well. And there are some others around town as well that I'm hearing about. Yeah. So it is really exciting to see how our community and our region have gotten behind it. I'm just excited. And I, and I'm, and I'm, you know, really so proud to be here and watch our team. I, I'm, I'm really pulling for them. I believe we can win. Well, maybe when you get back, we can, uh, we win. We, yeah. we can go out and get a uh, Republic crest tattoos together. Oh, you know, I'm not sure I'll do that, Dave. Um, but you know, I, I mean, it's but I but we might be able to get you. A, yeah. we'll, we'll first put a we'll take a cigarette or two and you know, wave it in front of your face. Thank we'll you. See what happens. I Is appreciate that. that. That's great. That's very supportive, and I appreciate that. Uh, do me a favor. Uh, monitor your blood pressure tonight. Remember, it's we're all there with you. Have fun. Uh, we'll be watching and cheering back home uh, for a national TV audience, and uh, also. <clears throat> I know you got a bunch of your friends on the plane there and back. Uh, make sure you don't mess it up because uh, we're on that plane next Thursday down to Arizona. It's going to need a clean plane. Okay, Kevin? <laughs> the funny thing that you said about all that is, you know, we have our team cardiologist, and he was sitting next to me as you were flying out. <laughs> right. He said, you know, I, just so you know, Kevin, I, I, I brought all sorts of equipment to, you know, test you, you know, in case that we have an issue yeah. because, you get, you know, you, because of the issues that potentially can arise out of a a situation like this so you're sort of right on one account honest, he really came up for the players honest to god putting a uh, blood pressure monitor on you tonight would actually be a fun and scary uh experience as the match goes on that is tonight 4 45 will be the start of the coverage uh just after five kickoff u.s open cup final cup set after cup set after cup set no one believed yet here we are sac republic little tiny usl squad versus uh, Big Bad Orlando in MLS for uh, the big trophy and all the cash. Kevin, good luck, and uh, I, I very much hope we all talk uh, later tonight uh, with uh, having a very victorious, happy, uh, probably damp and wet and sprayed conversation from Champagne. Hey, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Right, hey, go luck. SRFC. All right, buddy. Be go. good. And that's Kevin Nagel from Orlando. We'll take a break when we come back. Hey, it's a new segment. Got something to